Hi everyone, I have a quick little video to share with you guys from Coca Rosa. And I do have a coupon code with them to save 25% off of your purchase. It is L29817. So let me show you guys what I was playing with here. So we have our beautiful Lady Liberty here. So I did a little tag. And I love how she came out. I was able to find this really light um, glitter paper over at Hobby Lobby. And I felt like it matched, you know, pretty well. I have this gorgeous little glitter star in the background. And then my beautiful little paper right here. I love how she came out. I just need to pop a little hole in, add some ribbon. I was thinking about maybe adding some heart jammies or maybe some stars over here. What do you guys think? Hearts? In the little hearts or just some stars scattered so let me know and then we have these little kitties right here now i saw somebody else take little cats and then put them in a window frame and i thought that was the cutest idea ever and with my favorite holiday halloween coming up of course i had to make the little kitties in black there was no way that i couldn't do black cats just in case i do like a little witch theme for halloween so here are my little kitties i don't know why this one made me think of like a, the egyptian cats so yes i definitely need to go through my stash and pull out some little windows and die cut those out because i think these would be so so cute love those i was thinking about um doing like a little cut of a paper in yellow to back the eyes so that way the eyes look yellow i thought that would be really good especially for halloween time so i got those and then oh my gosh i love this set right here i told you guys when i hauled this that i was just obsessed with this um moon and sun die and look at how pretty this came out so here is our lovely little moon and she is huge, like almost the size of my hand, but she is gorgeous. Again, this is going to be perfect for Halloween. You can punch all of these out, but I didn't. I just left them as they are, but that's an option too. So here's our gorgeous moon. And then with the sun, I was surprised that her face actually cuts out. So I didn't even notice that right here the first time that this will cut out the circle so here is your moon or i'm sorry your sun and her face does emboss so you can just go ahead and lay her flat like this and glue her down to your project you can see i this one i did poke out the little holes so there's a little tiny star and then there's like little holes and then here you could really see the face very well because i'm not sure if it's picking up on camera but you can't see it in person and the other thing I was thinking was to get a foam dot. And then you can always like prop her up just slightly, you know, right in the middle with a little foam dot. So I thought that would be cute. So there's two different ways there. And then these beautiful butterflies. Oh my gosh, I love these butterflies right here. Let me show you. So it came with a set of three different butterflies. So here they are layered up and then I did cut them out to show you that they are gorgeous with just the top layer as well. So these are layered exactly how this die is intended to be used. But like look at this. I just thought this was so pretty just as it is with just that outline. I was like oh my gosh it's beautiful. I would definitely just go ahead and put that on a card and just have them floating just like that like if they were just you know flying so i thought that was really pretty so i wanted to make sure i showed you guys because i just thought they were really really pretty then over here we have a little flower base to make a card so i just need to go ahead and make a little card and then go ahead and layer this up like i'll show you that it's just beautiful to just go ahead and layer up on a background and then i did keep these pieces so i feel like these were like little um like lucky clovers right here or maybe they're little flowers so i did keep those as well so there's one there and then there's the other one here so you know just in case you know you can keep those if you like so i just thought i'd share that so yeah i definitely need to get a card 
and to back that one on there because I think it would be absolutely gorgeous for a card. And then on this one, I cut out just the Band-Aid because I did not realize that the Feel Better Soon is each letter. So you see these are each letter then um, right here these are actually one piece and then these are all single letters and I am just not huge into paper piecing a bunch of little pieces. I mean I do have my tweezers if you want to. I highly highly recommend these. These close and they open when you push them. Definitely recommend those if you're going to do paper piecing. But yeah, I just was not feeling that at the moment. So I just cut this out and I do want to go ahead and ink the edge just to distress it a little bit and maybe like over the little circles right here. And then this part does cut, but it actually stays connected. You can see right here and right there, they do not cut off. So it does stay connected, but I thought that was really cute. I do really, really like the Band-Aid. I think if you have young kids, grandkids, you know, they fall, they scrape themselves. I don't know about you guys, but like we you, like document that, you know, like we'll take a picture like, oh, your first big boy scrape, you know? So I thought this would be really good for that for a scrapbook because I do like the size of this. The other thing is if you want to do a get well card, you can use this as well. This is a really nice size. And then just add your get well soon sentiment on top, I think would be really cute. So yeah, a bunch of different ideas for those. So that's our little share for today. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below to their website. I'll link these products as well. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'm more than happy to help you guys out. All right, bye guys.